Hey, welcome everyone. My name is Steve Stump, and today in the Health Insurance 411, I would thought I'd talk about a pretty big topic um, that's brewing in um, uh, the health insurance world. The, the state of California is now pursuing the gover governor there as well as um, support from his, uh, his uh, local governments is uh, starting to talk about rolling out universal health care in California with a single payer system. And this is going to be really interesting to see how this develops. I've read some other articles that suggest now this is a third attempt in California to do this over the number past number of years. And um, as as the review of the plan starts to make its way through the media channels, uh, they're starting to take a look at what the real impact might be to the California economy and the, and the uh, citizens in California. Now, regardless of whether you're in a blue state or a red state, Republican, Democratic, re regardless of what your thoughts are on various news channels, I did come across a very helpful video on Fox News, and I wanted to start with that about how they talk about the cost and then go into how um, this might um, affect the, the uh, health care and, and the health insurance industry um, if something like this was to move forward for the year. Well, if you haven't already, definitely give this video a like, share it out with others. I really like um, uh, having an opportunity to talk about this with folks. And so um, give me your thoughts down below as well in the comments, and I'm happy to, to reply. But I'm going to share this video real briefly here, and uh, here we go. It's going to be very expensive. The total cost is $286.4 billion, almost $300 billion, and that's $2.2 billion each year. How can California afford this? Well, you know, the big challenge going forward here really is this. Not only is there this proposal that we've talked about here that Gavin Newsom has, but Democrats in Sacramento are actually proposing an additional single payer government takeover of the health care program here in California. And the challenge with that is they want to double the taxes that Californians already pay, increasing our top marginal tax rate to over 18 percent, putting a tax on businesses and creating a payroll tax that's gonna hit Californians making $50,000 a year or more. So the problem is not just this proposal, Ainsley. It's what they wanna to do to help. Wow, um, doubling the tax up to 18%, also putting on a payroll tax. You know, this has been the, the challenge all along as government has tried to solve this problem of universal health care in the US. It comes down to where is the money going to come from that will fund health care for all? And in my opinion, this is not a government problem. This is an economic problem. And as long as the government tries to um, fund an industry that, frankly, is just um, out of control with its cost, I don't see any way that government can take on the burden of that cost, whether it be the, the federal government or any state. And it's going to be really interesting because this is going to have to go into in front of a vote in California. And those citizens in California will have to vote for doubling their tax rate, for adding a payroll tax for, for, for those that um, I get paid more than $50,000 or more. So this will be really, really interesting. In my opinion, I think the uh, opportunity to improve the healthcare industry is through the motivation um, that we put on consumers. What do I mean by that? Well, when you purchase health insurance nowadays, most plans have a deductible that you have to reach. And then you have some co-insurance rate that you where you share the cost of health care with your insurance company until you reach an out-of-pocket maximum. Um, I suggest that um, we are actually motivated not to care what the cost of care is with those plans. What I mean by that is you want to reach those limits through your deductible and your out-of-pocket maximum limit as fast as possible because that's when you start to get some benefit from your health plan. Well, imagine if um, now you had universal, universal care for all. 
you really would not care what your cost of health care would be at that time. And so um, with the government being the deep pocket, then the industry will just continue to raise the rates for the care and and put the burden on onto the taxpayer. It'll be interesting to see what happens, though, whether any type of law that's passed in California will put some burden of care onto the insured so that they have to, um, while they might get health care um, without, without uh, premiums, but they have to share in some of the costs, meaning will they have a deductible that they have to pay into or will they have a coinsurance uh, agreement with the plan so that they have to share some of the cost of health care. So this will be very interesting to see. And then to really make these systems work, they have to force all the citizens in California into those plans. The reason being is because, and, and I've said this before, 5% of our population creates 50% of our healthcare expenditures. So when you create healthcare for all, the 5% are going to be the ones that most likely will enroll in a healthcare for all type plan. But for those um, uh, health insurance systems to work, you have to put the healthy people into those plans to offset the overall losses. And it doesn't matter whether the individuals pay the premiums or the government pays the premium. Um, it'll all be tied to how many people are in the plan and how much the government in California, in this example, will pay for those citizens to be in those plans. The more people they can put in those plans, the more money they can um, feed to the insurance companies, which can cover the cost. And if healthy people choose to be on their own plan with a private insurance option, then they're going to be out of those plans and therefore not contributing to the offset of losses that um, they'll have because of that 5% minority uh, that's very unhealthy, generating 50% of the healthcare expenditures. So, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a health insurance nerd. This will be interesting to keep track of and see what happens. But uh, I suspect I'll have some other uh, videos on it. But this one clip really highlighted this is going to be a fight in California, a $2, $2 billion fight in California. And what is it, $200 billion uh, is the projected total cost, $2, $2 billion a year. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. But, hey, um, I am. Uh, Talk about what your options are in this industry in a video where I talk about the how the health insurance system is rigged and, and, and it's rigged against you. But with private insurance options, you do have an option. So if you haven't checked out my video, just go to the website. Uh, link will be in show notes below. And then um, check out the video. Give me your thoughts on what you think was going to happen in California. You think the citizens will pass the uh, law or not. It'd be interesting to see what happens. Well, thank you for listening, guys. Have a great day, and I look forward to talking with you next time.